Hey, Desmond Du here from No Sleep Creative. Today I'm sharing a new free After Effects preset for creating an elliptical mask. If you watched my rectangular mask tutorial previously, this is similar, but it lets you create a circle or over mask. So let's jump into it. After Effects doesn't have a proper radio wipe. It only has a CC radio scale wipe effect, which creates a circular wipe from the middle, but it distorts your image. I wanted a clean distortion-free circular wipe, so I created this preset to achieve just that. Now, to use this preset, you can first download it from the Gumroad in the link in the description below. And you want to select a layer and go to Animation, Apply Animation Preset, and then select the preset you downloaded. Quick tip, you can save your preset in the User Preset folder under Documents, Adobe, and then the Adobe After Effects version you're using, and then go to User Preset. So you can save it there. Once you save the preset in that folder, it will show up in the Effects panel the next time you launch After Effects under Animation Preset, User Preset. If your After Effects is already launched when you copy the preset to the folder, just right click on the Effects and Preset panel and refresh the list to find the effect. Okay, so as for how to use the elliptical mask, right? Uh, by default, it's set to uniform width and height. Uh, you can turn off the checkbox and then you can kind of change the width and height individually. You can animate its completion from 0 to 100%. And you can have uh, basic transformation such as a position offset as well as rotation. And lastly, you have the mass control of like the opacity, the expansion, and also the feathering. For double or multiple elliptical mass usage, you can reapply the preset or you can duplicate the mass and the effect uh, by holding down Ctrl D. And so I'm going to do that for the effect. And then uh, one thing we need to do is to make sure we rename the number 2 or the index, right? Be it 2, 3, uh, to be within the angle bracket. So it link it to the respective effect over here. Now I'm going to set the second mass to subtract. And I'm going to turn this to another color, maybe something like green. And we can start keyframing the completion for both, uh, for both effects. I'm going to press U to show my keyframes. And I'm going to set it to 0% for both. Uh, maybe we'll do uh, about 10 frames animation. Press F9 to kind of ease right, the keyframe animation. And we'll just align it like this. So we're going to have this animate in and then animate out. right? So if you do get a straight pixel when you use a double mask like this, what you can do is to go into uh, the mask control for the second one, and then you can increase the mask expansion by one pixel. So I'm gonna hold control and you know up arrow key to increase it, and you can see we have kind of resolved that straight pixel, right? And the animation is perfect. So one last tip before I go, I'm all about speeding up my workflow. Often I rely on FX Console from Video Copilot to quickly apply my preset onto my selected layer. Uh, it, I highly recommend you to use it or something similar like mobile. And that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, remember, you can download this free preset in the Gumroad link in the description below. If you have any question about the preset or, the, or this walkthrough, please uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you found this helpful and if there's a specific preset you'd like to see in the next tutorial, you know, please let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.